Yep. Howdy, howdy, everybody, and welcome to another installment of our visitation chat. This is actually take two. We did the first take, I don't know, a couple, three hours ago, but we had technical difficulty. So uh, if I seem especially smooth this time, it's because we rehearsed already. Well, anyway, not too much to say, just a few little points. And the first one has to do with our annual visitation PTO trash bag sale. Now, the trash bag sale is one of the uh, principal fundraisers that we conduct in the course of the school year, trying to raise some dollars and cents to keep that expensive operation humming along. Now, everybody makes trash, you know. Therefore, everybody needs trash bags. There's just no way around it. Wouldn't it be a wonderful thing if you could procure your trash bags from uh, our school, our PTO sale? That way you'll be helping out yourself and you'll be helping out the school. So it's a win-win deal. Now, Megan tells me that in the interest of safety and convenience, this year's trash bag sale is being held virtually, which means the PTO will not be accepting cash or checks this year. Instead, you got to pay with them what? Using your credit card or your debit card? Is that right? That's right. Okay. Orders need to be placed online, it says, and you can visit the parish website and click on the picture, the pretty picture of uh, the trash bag rolls in order to uh, place your, your, your order. Okay, next uh, up is the blood drive. The pandemic, as I understand it, has caused a very considerable need for blood. I guess people are not getting out and donating blood like they do in more typical times. So the Community Blood Center is uh, experiencing critical need right now and our women of visitation are sponsoring a blood drive on wednesday august 26th in ty hall and once again megan what is the time 12 30 to 6 30. 12 30 to 6 30 on wednesday august 26th and we're asked to go to the parish website and click where it reads urgent need for blood to make an appointment uh, for reasons that I, I don't remember, they're discouraging walk-ins. I think maybe it has to do with social distancing and limited space and things like that. So, uh, you know, giving blood is something I ought to do. I haven't done it in some years. And every time I see that truck down there, I think to myself, you know, that's something you really ought to do. But I haven't made time for it. But th this time I really should. And I hope you'll consider joining me in that. Okay, next, every year uh, the diocese, you know, sends a missionary to the various parish apostolates to preach about their community and what it does and ask donations from the respective parishes. Well, this year the diocese canceled that because of the pandemic. You know, they call it the missionary cooperative plan in, in, in the diocese. And because the various missioners are not coming out to the parishes this year to preach an appeal, the diocese is asking all of the parishes to uh, uh, kind of take up a collection for that purpose. So uh, let me see, let me just read this. Due to the current pandemic, this year's mission appeal visits are canceled. The diocese asks parishes to take up a collection that will be divided among all the mission organizations that would have made appeals in the diocese this year. To contribute to this purpose, folks, you can make a contribution to Missionary Plan of Cooperation in the online giving portion of our website near the bottom of the list or send a check to the parish office with Mission Co-op on the memo line and uh, we'll see that it, it gets where it's, it's supposed to go. That's all I've got except to uh, just let you know that our, our plan to buy 5116 Baltimore is still very much on track. In fact, tomorrow is the closing date 
on the parish's purchase of that property, which is the sixplex building you know immediately to the north of the school. To uh, refresh your memory, we hope to purchase that property in order to, uh, um, well, at a bare minimum, move our kindergarten off of Main Street and on to Baltimore. Anyway, that's still, still moving forward and we should have it accomplished by this time tomorrow. After that, the parish council and I will begin to discern, um, you know, a plan to uh, develop what we want to do with the property and bring that to you folks. We'll establish a parish consensus. We'll, of course, need to raise money to do whatever it is we wish to do and go from there. It'll be a multi-year process, but I just don't want you to lose sight of it, and I wanted to bring you up to date on it. Okay, I think that's all I've got. We've got a, a funeral coming up here in a few minutes, and I've got to get over to that. And uh, I appreciate your time today. And until next time, goodbye and God bless.